to get my kids ready for school alone i woke up since 3 a.m because yeah i'm not used to doing this i usually have help i usually have someone you know who helps me get them ready in the morning i just wake up do one or two things and then i take my kids to school but right now i don't have anybody to help me long story for another day um yeah long story for another day anyway i think a part of having help that people don't talk about is that when your helps leave okay or when you don't have anybody to help you it is a lot difficult for you to cope than when you never had a help to begin with okay if you guys don't know when i um got married and when i had my first child and when i was pregnant with my second child i didn't have anybody around to help me in fact half of the time my husband wasn't even around so i was doing basically everything myself i was remembering recently how i used to go to the market and i would be with cora and then when i come out from the market i was pregnant though heavily pregnant and then when i come back i'll carry cora with one hand because if i drop her she's going to cry she was very clingy i mean just it was just the two of us most of the time so she was quite clingy so when i carry her on one hand on the second hand i'll carry all the groceries okay carry them upstairs drop them carry her bag downstairs, go and carry the rest and drop it. Sometimes our gate man then used to help us, one papa like that, an old man, he used to help me, but when he's not around, like, will I be waiting for him or looking for him? So I would just do it myself. I was cooking, I was breastfeeding. I did exclusive, uh, not even exclusive, I did exclusive pumping for Cora, and I was alone, I'll cook, I'll clean, I'll arrange everywhere, and do everything and still, you know, pump almost two, every two hours, feed my child, you know, bathe her, do everything for her, okay? So I was doing all of this without help and yeah, for the most part, I was fine with it. I was really doing it very well, like I was, I was killing it, okay? However, I quickly realized that, you know, it was draining me so much, so I decided to get, you know, a help. My husband was very helpful as well, but it was also draining him, you know, I had to say no, like we can't continue like this. Like, yes, you're hardworking, you're doing all the work around the house, but you don't even have time to spend time with your family. So it's either you're not around and then when you're around, you're doing housework and doing your business and doing your job and all of that. So it wasn't working and I was like, no, I needed to get help. So that was how I employed someone to come and help me. And since then I've had, you know, someone to help me basically. In fact, at some point I even had two people to help me, you know, but I had more kids, you know, now I have three kids. However, 
when they are not around, it's almost like I cannot, I can't survive, you know? It's almost like, how, how, how was I ever doing this before? How was I ever, you know, taking care of my kids alone without anybody helping me? It's almost like, it's, it's almost like unfathomable, 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 okay? Whatever the English is. It's almost like I can't think, I can't really imagine how I used to cope without having help. I'm sure it's a human phenomenon. I'm sure that's how human beings are. Um, when our, once our body gets used to certain things, it, it's difficult to withdraw from them or not have them anymore. So I think that's really the problem. Um, yeah, so it wasn't as difficult as I thought it was going to be. But at the same time, I don't want to be doing that, okay? I don't want to be doing it. <laughs> I like having help. It, it saved my life. It saved my love life. <laughs> No, but seriously, yeah, it practically, it really saved my love life. It saved my life because, um, yeah, me and my husband now have more time to spend together. I have more time to spend with my kids, just having fun with my kids, not basically catering, catering to them. Um, yeah, but, okay, another, another, well, I won't call it positive, but another good thing about not having help sometimes, that's if you do it right, is that your kids will learn to do things for themselves you know, quickly. I don't need to chase people helping me away just so that my kids can, you know, take up responsibility and, you know, cater to themselves and, you know, do things for themselves. I don't need to chase them away, okay? There's a healthy balance, okay? The healthy balance is I have people to help me, you know, so I can have free time to do my work and spend time with my kids and have fun with my husband. But at the same time, I can tell them to direct my kids to do some, some chores. So, for instance, Cora is in charge of sweeping and cleaning some places and she does them really well. Um, yeah, so the living room upstairs, this my office, um, sometimes her room, but because her room has beds and toys and stuff like that and, you know, storage units, it's difficult for her to sweep and clean properly, you know, there. But my room and the living room upstairs, she arranges it and cleans it herself. She cleans her table when they eat, takes her plates downstairs. Sometimes she tries to do the dishes, but I just tell her, mm, they don't, don't, like, yeah, <laughs> she doesn't do them really well, but she tries. So with time, she's going to take up more responsibility. Eva, on the other hand, Eva is my second child. Eva, Eva likes, Eva knows how to work, but she doesn't want to. So Eva will give you all the excuses on the face of the earth. As in, when I say all the excuses, like she will be manufacturing excuses left, right, and center. She will tell you it's not her, it's not her toy. So she doesn't, she won't pick it up because it's not her toy. When you're like, yes, I know it's your sister's toy. I know it's not for you. Just pick it up. She'll say, but I'm not the one that kept it there. I say, yes, I know you're not the one that kept it there. Just pick it up. But it's not for me. And I'm like, Eva, just carry this toy. I'm going to keep it, you know? And then sometimes she'll just sit down on the floor and be doing this small, small, so that you'll get angry and tell her to leave it. And I'm like, if you like, sit down there for two days trying to pick up one toy. You're going to pick it. When you're tired of sitting down there trying to pick it, you're going to on your own just pick it up and go and do other things you know and yeah that's what happens so i kind of know how to manage my kids so that they can take up their responsibilities for themselves but yeah for the most part I, i'm not going to stop having people to help me except when my kids are older and then they'll be the ones helping me okay but i'm, I'm always going to have help that's my point i'm always going to have help whether it's my kids or it's my husband or it's my children or, um, or you know hired helps or whatever I'm always going to have somebody around to help me because I know come this life to suffer. Yes, if you guys know me, I am made for the good life. I'm made for the <laughs> I'm made for the happy life. Like I'm not the kind of person that I wasn't born to suffer. I wasn't born for stress. You know, it's just money that's holding people back. Okay, it's just money that's holding me back. When I hammer the hammer that I'm about to hammer, you guys are going to know the real me. Okay. Lately, I have been looking like my problems, and that was not the plan for 2022. Okay. First of all, the plan for 2022 was not to have problems to begin with. Okay. But even if I had problems, I shouldn't be looking like them. So today, I am going to transform myself i'm going out today i'm going to do something with nello and you know yeah you guys you guys learn about it in different video but i cannot be looking like this like this is not me this is not my real face okay now condition make real fish bend this is not how i woke up so i want to go and do my hair and you know do my nails i'm supposed to do my nails but i want to do it today i want to do it another day but i'm going to like just try and change the way i look and look like you know my real self yeah so let me carry you guys along let's go let's go hi <laughs> <laughs> god of mercy Let me see some you are the white 
type Baby, you could be one Let me change your life I could show you many reasons Different seasons Hop in my back and I stay in it Hit from the back and I stay in it He is not damn, don't play with her She is not damn, don't play with her I got a R-O-D She got a P and C Baby girl, you know you was made for me Hop in my back and I stay in it Hit from the back and I stay in it She is not damn, don't play with her She is not damn, don't play with her I got a R-O-D She got a P and C Baby girl, you know you was made for me Hop in the way and I stay in it I beat it up, I don't play in it I bust it up, then lay in it Let's go again, you okay with it? I'm parked up, valet in it Shot and I'm draining it. I'm Steph Curry ain't claiming this. I don't know what you cost, but I'm paying it. All options, I'm weighing it. If I'm going in, I'm staying in. A king bag, come laying it. Day and night, it's the way of life. I'll weigh you out, then take you out to the Waffle House for some steak and eggs. Pulling up, then we hopping out. Got you walking out with the Wobble legs. Wait, girl, I peeped you looking like a baddie, you a diva. Pretty face, caramel skin like a Leah. Saw that fatty poking from the back like Serena. So let me see some. Hop in my back and I stay in it. Hit from the back and I stay in it. He is not damn, don't play with her. She is not damn, don't play with her. I got a R O D. She got a P and C. Baby girl, you know.